friends from New York are always like, you guys should play like Brooklyn Ball. Like the spot, apparently. Yeah, okay. Let me just say that Brooke is probably going to win, <laughs> but I'm going to give it. She's going to talk the most shit. I'm going to talk so much shit. <laughs> you're going to think that I'm going to win. This is going to be the, the lesser of two whack ballers. No, he's it's pretty good. Time. You stay right here with me. J. Davies sound is anything goes. We are products of our musical environment, which was a lot of everything. But we're influenced by so many different things and our music that we make is, you know, just a product of all of those things. Our music is uninhibited. Look, you're gonna either hate us or you're gonna love us. Because if you if you are forming an opinion about it and you're bringing it up in conversation, we've done our job. Yeah. That's it. I, I think people now, like just just everything that's happened just in the world in general has made people have to tune in to things that are real. I mean, I think everybody is ready for, for someone to hit that reset button. And I think, you know, every generation or so, someone or some group of people comes and pushes that reset button. Of course, because we're living in it now, it seems a little slower. It seems like we're so deep in the hole of just like bullshit that it's harder to set the reset button. But we're there and we're doing it. <laughs> into something that takes it takes people a minute like on first listening you might be like I don't know what that is when you don't know what something is your immediate reaction is to be anti whatever it is I'm not familiar with it what am I supposed to do with this where do I put this in my you know my perfectly uh, categorized music shelf but then later on somebody else will talk about it or they'll right. hear it again and it's like you know what that is pretty cool <laughs> We're about longevity, so it doesn't matter like what's going on, like in like in music or style or fashion or whatever. The fact that we do what we do out of like the sincerity of our hearts, it, it, it's gonna keep us around. We have to be creative in how we present it. We can't present it the way that everybody presents it because it's it's different. And when we try to present it in that same format, it never comes across correctly. Everything has to just match, you know? And I think by matching, it just has to be really creative from us. It can't just be us trying to plug in what we do into another format or another system. You know, it has to all come from us. I try not to think about and take on the well, as a woman type of thing because I'm not even going to separate myself from well I'm a woman who rocks I just rock I rock just as hard as man and you know what I'm saying and I, I can still be sexy and still be confident and be all of those things and that's not just a, a woman trait versus a man trait it's just a human trait We're enjoying all of, every aspect of it, being signed and, and having our own shelf life outside of being signed. One thing that we always promised each other was that this was never going to be about us as individuals. This was always going to be about the music. So I think that's what's always kept us close, you know? Our inspiration just grows daily and we come up with new ideas and every things. Every day. 